This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. A nested table is much like an associative array, but you do not determine the index. The index grows using the extend command, and the index is always an incrementing integer value. So Oracle is handling the index for you. You can use a delete attribute to delete individual elements. So you don't ever want to do the first last loop. Like I showed you, it could be an error in associative index. It can also be an error here. So you want to use next, first, and last to loop through your values. So let me go ahead and show you how we declare one. The declaration is actually more simple. We declare a type of table varchar2. Notice it looks just like the associative array, but we're not putting the index by binary integer. It's assumed we're going to index by an integer. Create our variable of that type. Now, a little bit different for a nested table is you have to initialize the memory area, so you call its constructor. So the constructor name is the same as the type name. So I'm just saying assign to this variable an empty structure, which is the T array. Then as I add values, I say my variable extend it, it's going to extend it by one. V array one, since I'm starting, that's my first position, I assign it to be hello world. I extend it again, which means it's going to add two. V array the second position is hello again. So let's run that. And anonymous block completed. So that works. Remember, for a nested table, you have to call the constructor and then you extend it before adding values. So you can see it's a little bit more complex than the associative table. You have to initialize it and you have to extend it and things like that. Other than that, it works pretty much just like an associative table. So let me go ahead and give you an example where we loop through it. So I create my table of varchar230. I create a variable of that type and I'm creating my loop index. I initialize it. I do the assignments just like the previous example. I say my v index is first. I do my loop, exit when the v index is null, do my output, get the next value after. So I've got one, two, v index next. So let's see if that works. Hello world, hello again. So that works. If I add a third element and then delete the second element, and this is why we want to use that next type logic. So I've got the exact same code, only now I'm saying extend it a third time and then delete the second one. So now it's going to go from one to three. The rest of the code is exactly the same. Now I would expect to see hello world and new row. Hello world and new row. So the delete removed that element in the array. Using the next logic, it knew to skip that empty array. If I didn't use that logic, I would have got a no data found error, which isn't what I wanted at all. And then that works exactly like the associative array, although an associative array you wouldn't delete, you would just assign null to the index and it goes away. In a nested table, you actually do the delete. So that's it. That's the main difference between the associative array and the nested table. All the other attributes, the first, the last, the count, all work just like an associative array.